Ryon's TV. Hey guys, welcome to Ryon's TV. I'm Ryon. So today, January 10th, it's finally the day for the Imamiya Ebis Matsuri. As you see, there are so many people. You know, since it's still the noon time on Thursday, which is a weekday, so there are not so many people right now. However, during the night time, it's gonna be more and more people. So, actually, this is the street where I take the movie already the last time. So, if you haven't checked my the last time's video, please check it. You know, I shoot the video about the before the festival and this same street has a totally different looks so please check that as well you know still not so many people but let's check what kind of store we have okay let's go 10th Abyss festival is a traditional festival for the merchant originally osaka is a merchant town and this shinto custom is all about money Ebisu is the one of god of commerce Therefore, many merchants come to this festival to pray for their prosperity. Well, so this is the one of the shrine. As you see, it's still the noon time, but there are so many people waiting for entering the shrine to pray. Yep. Well, as I said, it's still in the noon time, but I'm pretty sure, you know, after 6 o'clock, well, this place is kind of middle of the city, so there's gonna be so many people after work. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. You know, such a small street, but then gonna be so many people. So anyway, let's go check more. Well, so I'm at the main shrine right here. As you see, there are so many people. Let's check inside. Actually, this was my first time to get into the Imamiya Ebis Shrine. It was smaller than what I thought. But, as you see, there were so many people. Since this is the festival for merchants, I felt that people's enthusiasm for prey was more compared to the other festival. Well, as you see, anyone has the uh, bamboo leaves, right? Yeah, that's the kind of tradition that bamboo leaves bring the good luck to your business. So that's why anyone get the bamboo leaves for the first year and then try to return it every year and then try to get the new bamboo leaves. Uh, that's how it works for this Toka episode. That's why after 6 o'clock, there's gonna be more people because usually people work during this time but of course you know someone believe in the, this kind of tradition they have to come back to this place and also you know they have to get the new one as well very interesting they are the fuku musume means lucky daughters are 50 women selected as a representative for the festival over 3,000 people apply each year for the Fuku Musume, but they won the position. Yes, they are the lucky daughters. So this is how it works. You can get the bamboo tree from the boys, and then, as you see, there are many ladies right there, right? You can get the kind of like accessory, like a lucky charm for the bamboo tree, so that you can get the good luck for that. People believe in the Shinto, or most of Japanese people usually don't believe in Shinto, but they just want to have a good luck, then you can get the lucky charm right there. It, good, huh? Okay, so let's go back to the festival. Well, it's getting darker and then, you know, get so many people. So this is one of the biggest stories which I introduced in the last video. Well, even that is kind of expensive, but still so many people buy it. Actually, this stall is front of the Imamiya Ebis Shrine. So after you get that bamboo leaves right there, then you can get... It's already 7 p.m. and so let's go back to the festival. Wow, 
Oh, so this is the street which I introduced it in the last video. As you see, there are so many people, right? It is kind of hard to walk. Wow, oh, there is so many good smells. It must taste good. All right, so let's go to check more. Wow, so actually this is my favorite candy. Look at it. Yeah, as you see, it's a strawberry. There are apples, strawberries, orange, the grapes. You can choose the candy from a lot of fruit. Well, so actually this one right here, there is a strawberry. They put the sweet strawberry candy outside. This one tastes so good, I love it. So actually the strawberry itself is kind of sour, but then the candy is so sweet. And this one right here, that's only 200 Japanese yen. Yeah, thinking about the other stuff you can find it in the Matsuri festival, usually it's kind of expensive, but this one, reasonable. Mm. You know, when you bite it, the strawberry is kind of sour, but then the candy is so sweet. This one much is perfect. So that's why I'm loving it. You know, last time I showed you the milk senpe. That's one of my favorite food in the festival. But this ichigo ame, the strawberry candies, it's good as well. So, you know, if you come to the Matsuri festival, then you'd better try it. Because this one is not that expensive and it tastes so good. You better try it. Well, so these stalls, starting from the Shin Imamiya station to the number station, it is a long street. And then as you see, I'm not sure how many stalls there are. Yeah, it must be over 100, well, 200, or even maybe 500. Yep, that's a number station right there. But still, the stalls gone. Well, so it's still 7 p.m., but then this Matsuri festival gone to up to 11 p.m. It's gonna be more and more. It's interesting, right? Yeah, I can feel the people's enthusiasm. I love it. So that's how the Japanese Matsuri Festival looks like. So thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, please thumbs up. And also please check my other videos as well. Thank you very much. Arigato. So bye bye.